The topic of this video is working with the properties of logarithms. Let's look at a problem. Write log base 3 of the product 9x as a sum and or difference of logs. All right, so the instructions for a problem are very, very important. In this problem, the instructions say that we need to take this one log and write it as a sum and or a difference of multiple logs. Sum, of course, meaning two logs being added, and difference meaning two logs being subtracted. So we're going to go to our list of log rules and see if we can find some rules that involve two logs being added or two logs being subtracted. When we look at our list of rules, we see it in our first column, rule six on the right-hand side has two logs that are being added, and rule seven on the right-hand side has two logs that are being subtracted. So it's very likely that one of those log rules is going to be helpful to us. When we look at the left-hand side of those two rules, we see that for rule six, it starts with log base A of two things being multiplied. And for rule seven, it starts with log base A of two things being divided. So which one of those most closely resembles our problem? If we look carefully, we see that in our problem, we're taking the log of two things that are being multiplied. And for that reason, we will use rule six to answer this question. Rule six says log base A of the product MN equals log base A of M plus log base A of N. And now seems like a good time to remind you that when you write logarithms, you always want to make sure that you're putting everything on the appropriate line or below the line or above the line. All right, so let's line up what they gave us with the rule. I'm going to put this log base 3 of the product 9x directly underneath this log rule so that we can compare. Well, what we see is in the rule, there is an a for the base, and in our problem, there is a 3. For the rule, there is an m times n for the argument, and in our problem, there is a 9 times x. What this means is that a corresponds with 3, m corresponds with 9, and n corresponds with x. So if we want to know how to rewrite our log as two logs being added, we just have to replace a with 3 everywhere we see it, m with 9 everywhere we see it, and n with x everywhere we see it. So we would write log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of x. Now in a previous video, I taught you something called the brick. The brick is an object that connects the word log with the base and the argument. Whenever you find that the base and the argument are both numbers, you should ask yourself, can that be simplified and rewritten in an easier way? Remember, a logarithm is a missing exponent. So, ask yourself this question. Log is the same as egob, E-G-O-B, exponent goes on base. What is the exponent goes on base 3 to make 9? Sometimes it's a little easier to see it if you write it down. What is the exponent that goes on 3 to make 9? The answer to that question is 2. 3 times itself 2 times, so 2 is the missing exponent, will give you 9. Well, remember that a logarithm is a missing exponent, so what that means is that log base 3 of 9 is simply the number 2. This whole logarithm turns into the number 2. Now, can we do the same thing for this logarithm? The answer is no, because we don't have two numbers here. So, we just leave that as it is, and this gives us our final answer. The answer to the question is 2 plus log base 3 of x.